the topic I wanted to to discuss because this comes up a lot um, is as far as is about you know why you know uh, why is is why is Hawaii real estate so expensive and and uh, to uh, to Val's question uh, is it overpriced? So what I want to kind of chat on is is people who say you know how you know this these are crazy you know, these are crazy prices this Maui crazy overpriced. So so Heidi when when someone like Val talks to you and says you know, you know, is this, is this crazy overpricing? How do you respond to that? Well, I think whenever you're investing in something, especially real estate, you want to make sure that you're buying something that's a good value. Um, I mean, my first question is what are you comparing it to? Because I, I work with clients that come from different markets from all over the U S and Canada and the market here on Maui is very different, for example, than the market in the Midwest or somewhere else in the United States. And I mean, you definitely can't compare them. Um, often buyers come into the Maui market thinking, well, in Texas, 400000 gets me this. Well, on Maui, it's going to be a little bit different. So, I mean, I think your reference point, you want to make sure that you're you're looking at the actual market that you're buying in because keep in mind when you go to sell your property, you're going to be selling it in the Maui market as well. You're not going to be selling it in a different market. Um, as far as is the market overpriced, our median prices on Maui have been steadily increasing since 2012. Um, I had people in 2015 saying the market's overpriced. I'm going to wait. I'm not going to buy anything. And the prices have continued to go up. So um, when I'm working with buyers, I mean, my advice is to really look at and understand the current market and see what's going on and buy something that's a good value in the current market. I mean, long-term investing in real estate has been, um, been really great for people long-term. I mean, we're on an island with limited space, limited opportunities to develop. Um, a lot of times, you know, what's here is here as far as the inventory. Yeah, thanks, thanks, Heidi. That's that's a a, a great uh, a great way to to look at this. Uh, Scott is, is Oahu crazy overpriced. I mean, I I would contend no. I mean, you know, there's a there's a reason there's a ton of buyers buying in the market, right? That they, they obviously don't feel it's overpriced. Um, it, in fact, in fact, Scott, if I may interject, they think it's underpriced, which is why yep. they're bidding over the asking price. So, th so the argument is it's underpriced on Oahu. I'm sorry, go ahead. Yeah, I mean, I just had it, to give perspective. I just had a client come from California who, when they listed their property for like 1.4, it's an escrow at 1.9 with 150 grand non-refundable to be re released immediately to them with no contingencies. We're not seeing that here. So, is that market cr crazy overpriced compared to here? You know, I think it. Everybody is kind of looking at this. At okay, where is the market going? Where's where are things headed? They're obviously hedging that we're headed in an upward um, trajectory. They wouldn't be doing that. Um, what you know, overpriced? What are you comparing it to? I had a conversation. I remember this is about 15 years ago with my uncle. Was talking about this unit. I said, man, I could sell this thing for like 600,000. I could go pay cash back in Charlotte, North Carolina, where I grew up brand new construction, you know, half acre parcel, brick home, Viking appliances, the whole nine yards for like 250,000. And we both looked at each other because he grew up in North Carolina too. He goes, yeah, but who the heck wants to live in North Carolina? <laughs> and we laughed, you know, just making fun of where we came from. But it was, you know, an interesting looking perspective, looking at that. I don't yeah. think it's price because people were willing to pay it. That's it. I mean, the simple definition: if it's only overpriced, if no one's buying it, if people are buying it, uh, there's an argument to, to be to be had to say it's actually underpriced. Dylan, uh, Dylan, give me a Dylanism. I, I need to have a Dylanism on on this one. Dylanism, everybody, for for those who are not regulars on, on the show, he's got these great one-liners. So give me the Dylan. So give me the Dylanism on the is is Kona overpriced? Is Hilo overpriced? It's just perspective and what how important it is to you, right? It, it, how many of you go into uh, at the airport? You're thirsty and you buy ten dollar, you know, ten dollar bottle of water, right? Is it overpriced? Yep, but you wanted it, you needed it at the time. So you know, um, the same is true of of housing. And if this is where you want to be, this is where you desire to be, you're going to pay what a seller is asking, and that's the true definition of market value, right? What a buyer and seller agree on a price, that's what the market value is. So to them, it's a fair price, and they proceed with the transaction. 
if a buyer doesn't agree with this with the seller's price and they don't come to a agreement then there's no agreement and the buyer can contend it was overpriced and the seller can contend it wasn't and you know we're there so yeah it's all a matter of perspective and people coming together and that's really one of the frustrating things right now with appraisals is that appraisals are based on uh lagging information right they're based on the past six months of information not based on the current climate and a lot of times appraisers are using uh comps and situations that are not reflective of the current market and we're having issues with appraisals because of that but really you know a good appraiser is going to try and justify the price because a tr the definition of market value is a buyer and seller agreeing on a price pretty simple pretty simple you know and and, and talk about the overpricing issue uh the uh uh, my uh, my wife and I have been uh, binging on uh, Survivor episodes uh, as a kind of a fun thing to watch. And one of my one of one of the segments that came to mind on, on Survivor is the one where he gives each person five hundred dollars, right? And then he opens up and he, he and he he, pull, he pulls open a, a plate with uh, you know a burger burger and fries, right? And people pay four hundred dollars for a burger and fries. Is it overpriced? No. <laughs> because at the time they're so darn hungry, uh, you know, that they'd rather kind of blow the money on burger and fries. So, uh, yeah, is, is a $400 plate of burger and fries overpriced? Well, not if you haven't eaten for 30 days, it's a deal. Um, so that goes back to the whole overpricing. So indeed it's all about what people are willing to pay. And clearly, uh, people do find the value. They are willing to, uh, to pay the price. And that's why the market is, is doing what it's doing. Uh, and, uh, and stargazer, uh, kind of chimes in here. Yeah. LA is expensive and similar to Hawaii. Correct. Exactly. Yeah. Is LA overpriced? Well, uh, not if, not if it's worth it to you. Um, all right. I think, I uh, appreciate you guys kind of going through this.